Percocet, Miley Percocet, Percocet, Miley Percocet. All right, guys, we are back with another spawn trapping tutorial video. Now, you guys absolutely destroyed the first one we did. So the first one was on Nuketown, and I asked for like 1,250 likes. We absolutely destroyed that, and you guys seem to love it. So we're here on Combine with another one, and if you guys enjoyed this, drop a like. If we can get another 1,000 likes on this video, I'll do another spawn trapping tutorial on Fringe, Evac, whatever you guys want to see in the comments. But you guys suggested Combine, so... Let's get right on into it. Now, we're going to be starting off on C, and we'll work our way all the way in the back to A where the spawn trap is. So, starting off at C, uh, this is a major, major spawn. So, again, trophy systems all around the map are where sentry guns would be. So, one of the sentry guns would obviously be right here to block off all of this and to block off this. So, uh, that helps out so the enemies just keep spawning at A. But if you don't want to put a sentry gun here and you want to have whoever's at C get some kills, the guy who's at C could literally just sit, hide behind this wall and come around it and they'll spawn here and he'll be fine to go or he could just head glitch this they'll spawn here you can get easy kills and he could probably call in the most haters out of everyone it helps out so so much or he can come around here which is what i like to do i like to sit in this corner and wait get a nice little head glitch on the spawn and just keep taking them out or maybe sometimes i'll come up here and do exactly what he's doing and jump up and down to take him out it works out very well you can do whatever you want so if the person who's watching sees really skilled that's what they could do if not they're not the best player in the world they i recommend putting a sentry gun right here and blocking all this off the next spot is back river now there's a major spawn point right here which is why we have a sentry gun so we have a guy in the building right here and what he does is he puts a sentry gun here to block this off instead of just having to get these kills over and over and he'll head glitch the middle of the map to kill anyone who tries to come whether it's over there or if it's just someone coming in this window so this guy helps out a lot right here and this is a major spawn as well because if they come from here they can go to the middle kill people or they can go to sea and kill people as well and it could really mess things up so that's back river the next spot is actually up front in front river because there's actually two spawns there's one right there and there's one right there so what front river has is a sentry gun right here to block off all of this and then what he will be doing is basically watching all of River. So what I recommend him doing would actually be putting a C4 over here just in case the sentry gun goes down and there's kind of bad communication between this guy and this guy. So that's what I recommend them doing. Uh, he could do that if he wants. Or what I recommend him doing is actually just kind of staying in this general area, letting people run to him. Because what kind of sucks is there's like a spawn point back there and over here. So let's just say I die or something. And then, you know, obviously the enemies, they don't have many places they can go. They can either come down here. They can go in this building or go over there. They only have three options. And what most people do is they like to just come over here and go river. And that's exactly what I like to do. So that's what he's here for is just to take them out. He can lay down what he's doing here. He could just kind of strafe around the corner. So he helps out in that sense. And all of rivers just blocked off. There's no one spawning. And then the next spot is actually going to be up front right here. Now, this is actually a major spot because this guy is just cutting off this entire area. He's cutting off all of this. So... None of the enemies are pushing up to go to C or anything like that or trying to capture B. So he can basically just head glitch this window. If anyone comes in the building, he can just, you know, peek his head right here, get a nice little head glitch, get an easy kill. Or if this guy's calling for some help, he can maybe jump shot around the corner, take out some people, back up a little bit. He could do whatever he wishes. Or maybe there's some, there needs to be some help over here. He could literally just come over here, slide over here, and head glitch this if he needs to. So he, this guy's basically covering all of this, uh, you know, whenever help is needed. But usually his main spot is just head glitching this and making sure this is all covered up. And then one of the final spots is your little assistant. That's what I like to call it. He's basically your assistant. Uh, so he basically just helps you out over here. And honestly, there's two different ways of actually running this trap. So this guy right here can actually go and any other spots that are needed or just be an extra guy if he would like to be. So this guy's basically your personal assistant. If you don't want him here and you want all that to yourself, he can go wherever else he wants to go. He can just patrol the map, do what he needs to do. But there's actually two ways of running this trap. So basically, the first way, which is the way I'm going to show you, not personally how I do it, but he basically blocks off spawns here. So he'll be blocking off this spawn and that spawn since he's literally standing right here. So he'll be blocking all that off. And basically, the guy who's running the trap, so let's just say I'm running this trap right now, would be hiding, hiding behind this rock or hiding behind this rock and basically where they'll be spawning is right there and right here so you could just hide behind this rock let them spawn jump shot take them out or you could just slide around the corner take them out and then sit here again after you're done killing them they'll spawn around there 
take them out, and then you can just keep going back and forth, back and forth, and just keep getting the easiest kills. Personally, I like to go back here just to have a little bit of range, just so maybe they have a shotgun or something. I'm not really sure. You could just stay back here and do this. That's exactly what I like to do. I just like to hide behind the rock, not look at the spawns, and then just do as I wish, take them out how I would like to. Or the way I personally like like to do it the most of the time is basically just patrolling this area right here. Literally, that's all you're doing is patrolling this area. So you peek your head here, they'll literally spawn right behind that rock, right where the tip of my a weapon is pointing, just right there. And then you kill them there. Sometimes they'll spawn right there, or this guy won't be here, so they'll spawn right there. Their back will be right there. So that's personally like how I like to run it. Uh, let's just say I'm using a dingo or something. Peek, take them out, come over here, take them out. And then you can just kind of wait a little bit sometimes. Sometimes I like to throw C4 on this wall. So let's just say they walk in. Boom. Absolutely just done. So that's personally what I like to do. I feel like you get a lot more kills just because there's another spawn point that you could look at. It's always hectic and things are always going on. And honestly, if it's a little too much for you, I recommend you putting a, a guardian somewhere. Maybe like right... I don't know. You could probably put one like right here somewhere and have it face this way. So when the enemies walk in here... They're suppressed the second they walk in and you can easy kill but that's if you really need it and i don't recommend you putting on the guardian you can have one of your teammates maybe this guy who the extra guy is he could literally put one right here or he could put one right here that's just if you need some assistance but i think that's all i really want to mention within this spawn trapping tutorial again you guys really really enjoyed the one i did on nuketown so I hope you guys enjoyed this one here on Combine. If you guys want to see another one, again, if we could shoot for a thousand likes, that'd be absolutely amazing. Maybe we can get more likes on this one than the Newtown one, but these are two of the like best maps for spawn trapping, in my personal opinion. Um, again, you probably are gonna want some like pretty decent players who can hold their own and stuff like that. So I really recommend you just making sure that you're playing with the right people because uh, you know if you're not, then sometimes this trap might not work. Um, also, regarding the flags. I recommend capturing B at 50 points and then the second round at 150 and then if you spawn at C first, capture C around like 20 points and what I mean by that is once the other team uh, holds A until 20 points then capture C, that's just so the game lasts longer, you can you know get more kills in and all that kind of good stuff and just get as many kills as you possibly can. But other than that, I think that's going to wrap the spawn trapping tutorial video for today. Again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I personally, I actually really like making these, I feel like it helps you guys out a lot. Uh, this stuff helps you get 100 pluses, nuclears, uh, definitely helps you level up quite a bit as well. Uh, this is personally what I like to do uh, um, you know, here and there. I don't like to spawn trap all the time, but again, this is just what you want to do if you're really just trying to grind out the game, get some easy kills and wins and all that kind of good stuff. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. A thousand likes would be much appreciated, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.